I uh, saw a video maybe five minutes ago. The four men put into a family sedan, and another man standing at I don't know 80 feet. Uh, I mean, it was far enough to be outside of the arming distance of the RPG-7 he was holding. Probably an RPG-7. Couldn't really get a good look at it, but not really important. If you can't put two and two together as to what happened in this video, these men were prisoners. They wore an orange jumpsuit like I wore once. I'm not making a comparison there between, you know, the Department of Corrections in Arkansas and ISIS, of course, but these men were prisoners. I don't know what their crime was. They each said a few words before this happened. I don't know what they, uh, I don't know what their offense was. I don't know who they were. You know, for all I know, these people were, you know, upstanding members of their community and, or they were child rapists. But I know I watched on a video this morning at about no, oh, it's probably 7.30 right now. Uh, I watched four men on a video get put into a family sedan and executed with an RPG. Guy in the uh, passenger seat looked to be asleep a few moments before this happened. For his sake, I'm kind of hoping it was looked to be a uh, any take round wasn't wasn't maybe incendiary wasn't uh wasn't a fragmentation round as it uh appeared to have been a depth charge penetrate the door now of course the aluminum in most modern cars and this one was maybe a mid 2000s you know uh export i didn't get a good look at it it might have been a Volkswagen you know Jetta uh kind of like that but you know he went quick the rest of them, the other three, maybe just two, I don't know about the driver, burned to death. The video was edited, so I don't know how long it took, but it probably took a while. The point of this is, right now, in another country, somewhere, there are human beings. There are human beings that are trying to live normal lives and do the right thing. Just like you and me, trying to get by every faith, every ethnicity. And there are human beings who are killing these people for doing things they disagree with. And in America, we yell at Christians and talk about tolerance. And we talk about, you know, oppression. If you have the ability... To get on the internet and gripe at people and piss and moan about being oppressed, you're not being oppressed. You can say whatever you want. Up to, and it really in, in some cases including, the point of threatening people's lives. No one will throw you in prison. No one will execute you with an anti-tank weapon. In a cramped vehicle, just because you were different. You can be whatever ethnicity, even if you weren't born as, as is that ethnicity now, apparently I can be whatever I want. I mean, I'm clearly white, I'm mostly. I mean, I've got a granddaddy that rode with Pancho Villa. I can be a black woman right now if I say I am. And you know what? No one is going to stop me. People might call me names, might ridicule me, but ultimately, being compar comparing that to being executed with an anti-tank weapon in a car... There's no comparison there. So you're going to sit here and tell me you're oppressed and that you, you feel like your rights are being threatened. Now, I'm not saying, you know, women shouldn't make as much as men. I'm not saying that, you know, we should force people of color to drink from a different water fountain. That's, that's oppression too, but it's not as severe a level as, you know, other places where people are executed with an anti-tank weapon for being different.
be thankful you live here. Be thankful to something. Be thankful to, to your ancestors that came over here. Be thankful to your God that you were born here. Just be thankful that you're in a place that's it's it's getting worse, but as of right now, you live in a place where no one executes you with an anti-tank weapon for being different. And I keep saying that because I'm going to reiterate. This probably happened in the last year. While you were bitching about the new iPhone and wondering when the next Fallout was going to come out, four men who, as far as I know, as far as we know, were innocent, were executed with an anti-tank weapon. In northern Iraq, in the region known as Kurdistan, they rape babies with gun barrels. They crucify nuns, cut the heads off homosexuals and foreign journalists, and they execute men in a car with an anti-tank weapon. And you're going to bitch at me about being oppressed? And you know, I said this in a post the other day. We send prayer. We send money. We send clothes and food. Hell, if I could, I got buddies over there. I'd be sending weapons right now because I know they need them. If there was any way to, you know, obviously, for obvious reasons, they don't let you, it's not really easy to import weapons in Iraq, but, you know, if I had the ability, hell, if I wasn't a prohibited possessor right now for the next few months, I'd be boxing, you know, the Mosin-Nagant I've got somebody holding on to for me and sending it over there. That's one more weapon that's, you know... And if I had $2,000 for airfare, probably be over there myself trying to stop that. And that's not to be heroic or noble. That's because, I mean, honestly, I don't have a whole lot going on right now, and it's something I believe in. So you woke up today in a bed in a house with electricity and running water. You managed to get on your iPad and laptop, you know... Watch your porno, watch your Netflix, play your video games, you know, and hey, you ain't the only one. I'm a guy too in America. I like those things. The first one I shouldn't, but, you know, it's not my point. The point is, we woke up in a country where we're free to do pretty much what the hell ever. And even if you're a felon, or you've got restricted rights, you can do, still do, whatever. I don't know what they do to drug addicts in places like that, but it's probably not like what they do here, you know, a few years in prison, and then at rehab, I'm sure those guys in that car would trade a felony sentence in a heartbeat. Because I tell you right now, I'd rather be in jail in America. I'd rather be in jail in Arkansas. I'd rather be sitting in Bi State again, not knowing when I'm going to get out, not knowing what my charge is, not knowing where my life is going to go after this you know, relatively short stay here, I'd rather be there for the rest of my life than having to go through what these people are going through right now. Be thankful you're here. Be thankful for what you have. Be thankful it rains here. Be thankful you got food. Be thankful that you're alive. Stop griping about this, these insignificant things. Because you know what? I don't remember what I did five days ago. I don't remember what music I listened to. I got a pretty good idea, but I don't remember what I was thinking about or what my biggest concern was five days ago. There are people right now whose biggest concern is not getting hit by stray sniper fire just to go down to the market and, and spend what little money they have to try to feed their family. I can walk to an easy mart 100 yards to the woods that way, give me a pack of smokes and, and some coffee and, and a hot dog or whatever I want. And you know, my only real concern is... Have it withdrawing my on on my debit card, you know, being overdrawn my debit card, or maybe at the worst getting run over on the way there. We don't realize how privileged we are. You know, I mean, I'm not just talking to the the hypothetical whoever or vague booging. I'm, I'm I'm talking about me too. I gripe and piss and moan a lot. I'm not making enough money. I don't know what I'm gonna do. I want to go to EMT. There's, I mean, there's, you know. I could probably spend a few years living like I am and be fine. I don't want to, probably piss my folks off, but I could. Just take this and, you know, use that as your motivation today. You, you live in a country where you can literally do whatever you want. And if you can't do it legally, there's ways to do it illegally. And you know what? 
If you get in trouble for it, you're probably not going to get the death penalty. And if you do get the death penalty, they're not going to execute you in a family sedan with four other people with an RPG-7. Have a good day. Go do something productive. I love you.